This woman will never die. She is in her 70s. She has white hair, weak knees, and health problems. But now, she is trying to live forever. How? By freezing her body for centuries. I kid you not. Who is this woman? How is this possible? And is this fake science? The body I would like to have in the future would be in the deserts of Arizona, USA, I found Linda. Hi, Naz Daily. I'm Linda, and I would really like to live forever. This person is very scared of death. She is scared of leaving her home, her kids, and her family. And she doesn't want to leave planet Earth. So she came up with an idea. What if she freezes herself? waits until science cures her illness, gets unfrozen, gets cured, and lives again. The body I would like to have in the future would be non-biological, probably a nanobot swarm, meaning uh, a body made up of small nanobot computers that are all stuck together, very much like our biological cells are stuck together and make up her body right now. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but Linda was obsessed enough that she hired real scientists with real PhDs and created a whole company just to freeze her body. My husband, my mother, and my father-in-law have all been cryopreserved and are in stasis here at Alcor. And of course, when my time comes, I'll be cryopreserved too. This process is insanely complicated. They remove all the blood in your body and replace it with antifreeze to prevent cell damage. Then they store the body inside a cold tank and it sits there for decades or even centuries until science can unfreeze you and bring you back to life. And this process can cost more than $200,000. Cryonics can be thought of as an extension of emergency medicine. We're using extremely cold temperatures to help save a person's life when standard medicine has given up. They've reached the end of what they can do to help you. Many scientists are skeptical. Some even call her crazy, including me. But hundreds of others, including her family and even famous people, have chosen to freeze their bodies here in this lab in the middle of the desert in Arizona. Just to make it clear, nobody knows if Linda will succeed, not even Linda herself. But despite her doubts, she has incredible faith in this because of one simple reason, love. Right now with our current technology, the largest thing that we can thaw and successfully revive uh, is rabbit kidneys, which are about the size of my thumb. But I do believe that uh, within 50 to 200 years, large span, but it's, it's hard to predict, that the technology will become available to be able to revive uh, human beings. I really do love life. I love being alive. And um, even if uh, I only had a very small chance of maybe one more second to be with my family, my loved ones, I'd want to take that chance. Even if it was a point zero 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 one percent I'd take the chance. This is a huge gamble, and the idea is pretty out there. But if you think about it for a second, just a hundred years ago, no one thought humans could fly or transfer our hearts to another person. But we do all of that today. So maybe, just maybe, freezing yourself until science can catch up may not be that crazy after all. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Nas Daily. Nas means people in Arabic, humans. 
and we are on a mission to show you the stories of humans from all around the world. I'm actually very excited about the videos we're working on. So please follow us on Facebook and Instagram so that you don't miss a video. We think everybody in the world should watch them. Thank you and see you soon.